13th hole. And it is very loud around this green. Oh! Dustin Johnson, who is best known as a superstar golfer, has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in Florida Palm Beach. One of which comes complete with his very own island, a purchase he made back in 2015 for four million dollars. Now, if one home in Florida wasn't enough for the best golfer in the world, back in 2017, Johnson continued his love affair with Florida by snagging a 2.5 million dollar property that features over 7,000 square feet and newly renovated. It's it's a dream come true. I guess I can't even talk. <laughs> Fresh off his recent record-breaking Masters win, we'll take a look at Dustin's two Florida properties, one of which includes his very own yacht, that which he shares with another legendary athlete's daughter, Paulina Gretzky. Ever heard of the great one? In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. The golfing superstar has a net worth of $50 million and over his career has won $70 million in tournament prize money. If you include the $50 million he won at the 2020 FedEx Cup title, he is the third highest earning golfer of all time behind the GOAT Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. Dustin has been ranked the number one ranked golfer in the world for a period of 64 weeks starting in 2017. This is one of the longest runs for any golfer holding the top spot. Not too shabby if you ask me. Dustin Johnson began dating Paulina Gretzky, the daughter of hockey icon Wayne Gretzky, and the two became engaged in 2013 after dating for seven months. Over the next few years, they had two children together. I think that's a big part of, you know, success on the golf course is having a you know, a, a happy life at home. You know, it's definitely, it was my dream as a kid. Throughout his career, Johnson has been bouncing around Florida. In 2015, Johnson had purchased a residence in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida for $4.9 million, located about 80 miles north of Miami. The next year, in 2016, Dustin sold the property in North Palm Beach for a sum of $3.8 million, which featured a swimming pool, spa, wine cellar, and boasts almost 4,500 square feet of living space. We're all wondering how he could have given that up. I, I just don't know. Finally, in 2017, Johnson had acquired another property in Florida, this time the Harbor Island area of North Palm Beach. He paid $2.9 million for the residence, which was quite a good deal seeing as it initially hit the market with a price tag of $4.5 million in 2015. Oh yes, and it comes with its own island. Yeah. What's poppin' guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos literally every day. We previously reported on the homes of Tiger Woods and Keith Urban, so you guys can check those out on our channel right now. And if you guys would like to, please ring that bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly, and let us know whose house tour you'd like to see next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. Dustin's former mansion was built in 2013. This luxurious single-story home provided Johnson and Paulina with privacy in a gated community. The views of his former house were a thing of beauty, as the lavish home fronted the intercoastal waterway on more than half an acre. The pad comes complete with a covered loggia and a swimming pool and spa for guests looking to relax. Not to mention, the home features a private dockage, can accommodate a yacht of up to 80 feet. While inside the glamorous home, the interior features include a formal entry, a chef's kitchen with two islands, and an office with a thousand bottle wine cellar. I'm willing to bet Johnson and Paulina sipped a few Chardonnays after his big wins. The house comes complete with dark wood floors, vaulted ceilings, and detailed wainscoting, which boasts a clean look to nearly 4,500 square foot of interior. The remodeled master suite features a marble lined bathroom, a raised soaking tub, and a steam shower to relax after those big tournaments. The home provided plenty of room for guests as it boasted a total of four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. The massive sliding glass doors open to the newly added loggia, which had its own dining area, outdoor kitchen, and a wet bar. Just think the parties Dustin and Paulina probably threw out there. Just crazy. The mansion also featured a pair of separate garages, can accommodate as many as four cars, and we all know how much Dustin and Paulina loved their cars. Although that first home was pretty dope, Johnson was making bank and was looking for an upgrade, so why not treat yourself to an 8,000 square foot mansion? In 2015, Johnson forked out $4 million on a waterfront house in the exclusive area of Palm Beach Gardens. Johnson loves his ocean views, so kept his fronting of the intercoastal waterway. However, the Mediterranean style home gives a resort-like vibe. Within nearly 8,200 square foot of space and coming with all the 
quad con. This lavish abode features a living room with double height ceilings, an insulated wine room, and a family room with a custom wet bar. Good to know Johnson is still keeping his wine cellar game really strong. That's just good to know. This stunning home features five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms in case the great one wants to come for a visit. The living room is both spacious and classy, featuring a combination of elegant furnishings and unique antiques. The kitchen is both airy and roomy and boasts a breakfast bar with plenty of space and charming coastal views. The five bedrooms are beautifully designed, while the master suite comes complete with the two walk-in closets. Probably the most glamorous of all the features are as soon as you step outside the mansion, as the backyard comes complete with three ocean view balconies, a covered patio, a swimming pool with its own waterfall and grotto. I mean, there's something about taking in views of the ocean while you soak in a pool, staring at a waterfall that just says, everything's gonna be all right. As you take a stroll down a wood planked walkway that runs through the dense forest to a wide dock and palapa topped bar, you'll find a boat deck where Johnson Glamorous Yacht sits. Not a big deal. <laughs> However, probably the most amazing feature is the home's incredible island, which comes complete with a bar and two sun beds laid out where Johnson and Paulina can work on their tan. While these houses are definitely great for partying, one of the reasons Johnson picked up this house is that there are three country clubs nearby, including the world famous Admiral's Cove, the Barreras Club, and Trump International Golf Club. Work hard, play hard. I like that, Dustin, I like that. Now, if having one house in Florida wasn't enough, Dustin decided to continue his love affair with Florida. Buying a home in North Palm Beach, in 2017, Dustin snagged the newly renovated 7,100 square foot property for $2.5 million. Like his previous purchase, the mansion boasts six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, and a master bedroom closet that's so big, it could literally be a seventh bedroom. The newly renovated home features airy and roomy windows with spectacular coastal views, with a combination of unique antiques and elegant chandelier. For guests looking to get cozy, they can do so in two beautiful and bright family rooms or tip a few at the wine cellar in the study. There's a chef's kitchen with a spectacular marble top island and breakfast bar, two media rooms, two family rooms, an elevator, and an emergency generator. This home has a pool, but sadly, this one does not contain a waterfall. But you'll be happy to know that it also features 90 foot of canal frontage and a large dock for a yacht because Johnson really enjoys living the dream. All right, so I think we'll take this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Dustin Johnson's home and that nice house in Palm Beach with the private island. After seeing that fancy little house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Johnson? Personally, I thought his first house was the better spot to party. You know me, I'm always looking for that party. Out of Johnson's features, which ones were your faves? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys would give my personal channel, Dad Do McFly, a subscribe, and let us know whose house tour you'd like to see next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.